Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. Well ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't necessarily going to do this video of me going into Costco, but I did find a few things in there that are on sale for a good price. And I wanted to show you the security system that I picked up. And later on, I'll probably end up doing a review video on the security system because it's pretty cool. And I'll show it to you here when we get inside. Now ladies and gentlemen, I wasn't going to do a video because I'm just coming here for this uh, security system and some meat but since we're here we might as well take a look and see what prices are like now look at this this is a great deal a 10 piece wireless security system or this is an alarm kit 10 piece wireless alarm kit for 159 dollars but the one that i'm interested in is this one I actually ended up getting this security system, ladies and gentlemen, because the other one that I first looked at was a wired system, and I'm looking for a wireless system. So I'll be doing a review on this system for any of you that are interested in getting one. The price on this was $399, $100 off. This is something that we all take for granted, ladies and gentlemen, our teeth. Make sure that you're taking care of your teeth. And here is a water pick. It actually brings two, a bigger one and a smaller one for... What is that? Uh, $59.99. Not a bad deal for two water picks. And let's take a look at these gloves that they have right here. These looks like they're pretty good high quality gloves. And uh, winter goatskin gloves for $24.99. Not bad. I'd get a, get a set, but <laughs> I've got plenty of gloves. And batteries, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget about the batteries. These Kirkland batteries are not bad for $13.99. And uh, as you can see, you save a few dollars over the Duracell. I personally like the Duracell better, but I do have some of those Kirkland batteries, and, and they've done very well so far, in my opinion. Now, these are the shelves that I got for under my big green tent. I got a few of these, and I'm using it to put my tools in a centralized location and to put other things that I want to keep off the floor, especially during the winter and the rainy season. Now, ladies and gentlemen, every time that I see these on sale, I show it off on a video because it's a great deal. $27.99 for mobile one full synthetic oil and don't forget your wiper blades i always keep at least one set in my truck and this is a great deal for 99.99 especially being that it's a dewalt tool set and this is the rest of the full synthetic oil that costco sells through the kirkland brand and i've heard that it's pretty good oil but when it's selling at the same price as this right here the mobile one i rather get the mobile one Plus, I've used Mobile One in my vehicles pre pretty much ever since I've gotten them. So for $27.99, man, that is such a great deal. I'd get another case, but I already have enough oil for about three years' worth of oil changes. And don't forget your Duracell power source, ladies and gentlemen. $499 regular price at Costco. And you've seen me review this. I think this is a great, great solar generator for the price. Ladies and gentlemen, remember when bleach used to be like 99 cents a gallon? Well, it's no longer a gallon. It's 121 ounces. But now it's $15.49 for three, for three of those. I can't even say gallons. And for a little bit of normalcy bias, ladies and gentlemen, $13.89. I think it's a great deal for the Downey. And this is also a good deal. Less than 10 bucks. What is it? $8.49? $8.49 for this Dawn dish detergent. Now, I tried this. I featured this detergent here, this dish detergent, in one of my old payday prep videos. Don't really like it as much as the Dawn. In my opinion, it leaves a little bit of a film on the dishes and just don't really like it that much. Now, this here is my favorite laundry detergent right here, ladies and gentlemen. This does a great job. You get 152 loads out of it for $18.99. I only buy it when it's on sale, though. And although these bags are not on sale, ladies and gentlemen, this is something that you definitely want to stock up on, is garbage bags. And even at $18.99 for 200 bags, that's not bad. That's almost a year's supply of bags for less than 20 bucks. And of course, make sure that you stock up on your paper plates. These paper plates have also gone up in price uh, by a bit. I think they used to be like $12, $13, and now they're $15 and change. I think I'll pick up one of these bags of tangerines here. Not bad for $10, at least for this area. They've got all their pumpkins out for the year, for Halloween. Little Miss Alaska Prepper wants to get a pumpkin because she's going to go ahead and make a pumpkin pie from scratch. She's becoming quite the little chef. And although these apples are pretty pricey, they are pretty good quality. And we're going to go ahead and grab one of these bags, or maybe two. 
And I've never really tried these apples before. They're like apple pears or pear apples. Never tried them before, so I'm going to grab a pack and just see what they're like. I heard that they're pretty good, that they're not very sweet. And here are our meats. $13.99 for New York Strip, which is not a terrible price. And here they also cut them nice and thin or slice them nice and thin. But look at the price of the ribeye, ladies and gentlemen. $19 a pound. $19 a pound. Remember when we were talking about these being $16.99 and then they went back down to $15.99? I said, yes, we may be going down by a dollar, but I guarantee you it's going to go up from that. Now, I found a great deal over here, but look at these prices here. $13.99 for beef loin tri-tip. And uh, this here looks like a great deal, $6.49. So these three packs of meat right here are going to go into my freeze dryer. And what I like about these is that they're sliced nice and thin. So it'll make it pretty easy to cut them up in small strips to cook them and then put them in the freeze dryer. So that's what we're going to go with on this trip for our freeze dryer. But here's some of the other meats. The cube meat, which is what I used for the freeze dryer before, $7.49. It doesn't look like they have a shortage of meat here at this Costco at least, but the prices are definitely high. Beef chuck short ribs for $15 a pound. $12.99 a pound for this kind of short ribs. And they do have plenty of pork, not as much as they normally have. Usually those are layer two or three high. And uh, here we also have some toilet paper, ladies and gentlemen. I actually have to get myself a pack of toilet paper because we have to dip into our stock to rotate it. This is not a bad deal here, $3.49 for two family-sized boxes of Cheerios, if you eat Cheerios, that is. And let's go ahead and take a look at the bacon. Four pounds of bacon, low sodium for $23. Wow. And what do we have here? We have the, uh, no, those are crumbles. This is a two, four pounds for $26. Man, incredible. Now this here, ladies and gentlemen, is the bacon that I like to use. And it's really gone up in price. $19 for one pound of cooked bacon. This is the bacon that I like to use when I pressure can it. It comes out great. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. And milk up here, just to show you, it's not terrible, but it's not great. It comes out to a little bit over $4 a gallon, depending on what fat you get. And the eggnog is out for the year. Our butter is $9 for four pounds, where it has gone up. It used to be like $7.99. And these are just big blocks of butter that come in one pound blocks. Here we have some 50-pound bags of sugar, and that is not a terrible price, $34.49. Our powdered sugar, $6.89 for 5 pounds, and we have some brown sugar over here at $20.99 for a 25-pound bag. Now, our 25-pound bag of regular white sugar is $18, so you're much better off getting the 50-pounders. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I thought that... Costco was out of these, and these are great. Only have them once in a while, but you definitely got to pick one of those up. Here's our 25-pound bag of flour, which is not bad, $10.49. At least not for Alaska, that's not bad. And our 50-pounder, less than $20 for a 50-pound bag of flour. And uh, I do believe that the bread flour here, the 50-pounder, is also about the same price. So if you want to get some organic, it's $11.29 for 20 pounds. I use this most of the time, the organic. However, ladies and gentlemen, stock up on whatever it is that you use, but stock up in quantity. You are going to need it. And don't, don't forget the chocolate, ladies and gentlemen. You need to have some chocolate. Comfort foods are very, very important. And this is, I believe, a five-pound bag of chocolate for only, what, 10 bucks was it? Not a bad deal at all. And you can even save a little more money by getting yourself the uh, Kirkland brand. Uh, the Kirkland brand over here is the same size, and it's only $8.99, so not too bad at all. This is another great prep right here, some potato shreds, although the deal that Oxen Farms had via Amazon was great. I definitely capitalized off of that. But look, they brought back these Hungry Jack uh, potatoes, and those are great. Not a terrible price for the quality, and just in case you have not tried these olives before, they are awesome. They're olives that are stuffed with garlic and jalapenos or jalapenos, and they're great. 
This is one of the cheapest prep items you're going to get as well. That is very nutrient dense. $10 for 10 pounds of elbow macaroni. And it is imported from Italy. So go ahead and get your macaroni today, ladies and gentlemen. This is a great way to store good, dense calories. And look at this. Let's finish it off with our 50-pound bag of Calrose rice, $32. The 25-pound bag is $18.59. And this is, uh, what is this? Jasmine rice. 25-pound bag for $23.59 and 50-pound bag for $44. And I, I just can't. I, I don't like jasmine rice. I really don't. And you know what I noticed is that I didn't see any long grain rice. Now, if you thought that the prices at Home Depot for appliances were a lot, look at this. Isn't this nice? Goodness gracious. Let's see, it's got a one, two, three, four. Only $33.99. It's an awesome deal. And look at this. A range for only $2,649 for a range. But boy, I'll tell you what. I bet you that's a nice range. Incredible. You remember, ladies and gentlemen, where you can get just a simple washer for a couple hundred bucks? I remember the cheap ones when I was uh, still younger. The Ropers, they were like $157 for a washer and $157 for a dryer. All right, ladies and gentlemen, having said that, I hope you have a great day. Thank you very much for hanging out with me on my little shopping excursion. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. I'm Alaska Brepper. I am out.